everyone this is Tass and welcome to my channel I hope everybody is doing great I believe you're watching this video because you bought an instant pot or somebody else gifted you an instant pot and it's still sitting in that box or on the countertop or in the basement or in the pantry if that's the case please continue watching this video I'm going to convince you guys to take that pot out of the box and put that instant pot into great use it's an amazing kitchen appliance this is not a sponsored post so I've been using instant pot on a regular basis since 2017 so that's like five years and now I don't know how I survived in the kitchen without it it's truly a game-changing kitchen appliance effortless cooking it is without compromising the taste and flavor in this video I'm gonna share with you guys everything you need to know about the instant pot what are the benefits how to use it tips and tricks so everything about instant pot so guys let's get started when I first got the instant pot, I still recall I did not use it right away. I did take it out of the box as I was very curious. I looked at the pot, it looked beautiful and it had a lot of buttons and that kind of intimidated me and I had no clue how to use it or what to cook in it. So it did sit on the countertop for a couple of weeks. And then I decided I have to cook something in it. I think the first thing that I cooked in the instant pot was rice. So here's a tip for you guys. If you're cooking in the instant pot for the first time cook something very simple uh, maybe cook rice in it or soup so don't go for any complicated recipe instant pot is essentially a smart digital multi-pressure cooker so cooking in the instant pot is entirely different from cooking in a regular pressure cooker so in the instant pot we need to know about the cooking time and the amount of liquid to be added while comparing the instant pot to the regular pressure cooker, in the instant pot, cooking time is much lower and the amount of liquid to be added is also much less in the instant pot. So essentially in the instant pot, it's faster cooking, effortless cooking and anything that's cooked in the instant pot tastes delicious. Here's the Instant Pot Duo model. So this was the original Instant Pot that was released so many years ago and this is my first ever Instant Pot. So it has all these features like soup, meat, bean chili, poultry, slow cook saute, rice multigrain porridge, steam, yogurt, keep warm and cancel button. This does not have the start button. So for pressure cooking, we have to manually set the time and pressure. For that, we have to first click manual and using the plus minus button, we can set the time so I'm going to set the time to five minutes so I'm using the minus button I set it to five and we can also change it to high pressure or low pressure for that click on adjust and then click on pressure so it will change between low pressure and high pressure and you can select whatever pressure you want so that's it so that's how instant pot dual model works in this model we don't have to click start it will automatically start after we set the time and pressure here's the instant pot duo model lid so here is the steam release valve so while pressure cooking the knob has to be pointed towards ceiling so it's written ceiling and venting and when we release the pressure the knob has to be pointed towards venting here is another model, Instant Pot Ultra model. So I'm going to show it to you guys what's different in this model when compared to Instant Pot Duo model. So as you can see, it has a nice control panel and there is a knob. So we can rotate the knob to select the settings. And also it has most of the settings as the Instant Pot Duo model. And also it has additional settings like a cake, sterilize and ultra. In this ultra model, I'm going to select the pressure cook setting so we can rotate the knob to select the pressure cook. So I'm rotating it right now. So I've selected pressure cook. So next let's set the time. Again, rotate the knob. I'm going to set the time to 35 minutes. So when it hits 35, click on the knob. So the time 35 minutes is selected. So we can also change the pressure to high or low. So here I have selected high pressure Pressure. so once the pressure is selected and the time is selected we have to click on start and pressure cooking will start 
instant pot ultra model so they've made some changes to the lid comparing to instant pot duo model so here is the steam release valve here is the float valve and here is the steam release button so in this model we don't have to turn the steam release knob towards uh, sealing or venting while pressure cooking or while pressure release so that's a great upgrade they have made so for releasing the pressure we only have to click on the uh, steam release button so it says press to vent so that's all we have to do right now i'm on the instant pot website so over the years they have released so many different models instant pot duo model being the original one i know it's a bit overwhelming and confusing when it comes to which instant pot model to buy essentially it's a smart digital multi-pressure cooker all these models most of the basic settings are the same however in the newer models they have added a few more additional settings and also made some changes to the control panel to the lid so i would say how instant pot works remain the same even in the newer models next i'm going to show you guys the different parts of the instant pot so here is the main part so here's where the control panel is where we can select all the settings and on top of the main part uh, that's where we keep the lid so i'm going to remove the lid and inside the main part we keep the stainless steel pot so the stainless steel pot comes with the instant pot inside the main part so here's where the heating elements are and here's where it gets hot and we have to place the stainless steel pot on top of this inside the main pot and we have to add all the ingredients into the stainless steel pots so here's where the cooking happens this is the condensation collector so this has to be kept on back of the main pot and this has to be kept always while cooking in the instant pot so this will collect any excess moisture that's released during pressure cooking and we can discard the liquid that's being collected in it here is the lid and the lid has the sealing ring so while pressure cooking the sealing ring has to be always placed on the lid so if you don't place the sealing ring the pressure will not build on the lid here is the float valve it's that stainless steel pin so when we set pressure cooking when there is enough pressure inside the inner pot or the stainless steel pot the float valve is pushed up by the pressure here is the steam release valve so this is the lid for instant pot duo model when we do saute cooking in the instant pot or after we pressure cook uh, after we open the lid we can place the lid in the little groove on the handle so the lid fin has to go into the groove and it stays still like this so we don't have to place this on the counter top however i always forget to do this so this is a really good feature In addition to pressure cook, instant pot also has a slow cook setting. Obviously, slow cooking is much different from pressure cooking. So after we select slow cook, we have to set the time. So we can set the time from three to six hours based on how many hours you're gonna slow cook. And next we have to set the temperature. I always go with medium temperature. So there's no pressure cooking involved here. So we don't have to select the pressure and then we have to just click start, that's it. Another setting is saute so similar to saute cooking in a pan we can also saute cook in the instant pot so click on saute and next we can set the time up to 30 minutes and we have to also select the temperature I always go with medium temperature if we set to high temperature it can burn the food and low temperature that's really low cooking will be very slow so I would say the ideal temperature for saute cooking in the instant pot is medium temperature another cool setting is a warm setting so if you want to keep the food warm you can select the setting and uh, you can set the time and temperature so after pressure cooking or doing any kind of cooking you can keep the food warm in the setting 
some of the newer models it also has cake setting yes we can make a cake in the instant pot so after we select cake setting we have to set the time usually you know one hour and we have to also set the pressure I always keep it at high so while making a cake we also have to add one cup water to the stainless steel pot so it's more like pressure cooking so the cake that's made in the instant pot the texture and the look will be much different from the cake that's baked in the oven so here's a pound cake that I made in the instant pot it will not have that crispy top and the sides taste wise it's good so if you don't have an oven and if you only have an instant pot uh, you can make a cake in the instant pot Another feature I always use is egg setting. I would say more than me, my husband loves to cook hard boiled eggs in the instant pot. It's super easy. So we have to select egg setting and then the time has to be 5 minutes at high pressure and we have to release the pressure naturally for 5 minutes and we'll get perfectly cooked hard boiled eggs every single time in the instant pot. There is also rice setting, however it has a default time of 12 minutes and we won't be able to change the time. I really don't know why they did it like this just for rice setting. This is quite weird. So if we have to cook white basmati rice in the instant pot, we only have to pressure cook for 6 minutes and we won't be able to use the rice setting. We have to use the pressure cook setting for cooking any kind of rice that has to be cooked for more than 12 minutes. Instant pot also has delay cooking so that's an awesome feature so let's say you want to have food ready by the time you're back from work you can do that in the instant pot so all you have to do is dump all the ingredients into the stainless steel pot before you go to work and then click on pressure cook turn on the delay mode so rotate the knob when it hits on select that so now delay mode is on we have to set the time so i'm going to set the time to eight hours that means we are delaying the cooking to eight hours so if we turned on the delay mode at 8 a.m in the morning cooking will start at 4 p.m so the time we are setting is the delay time before the cooking starts by the time you're back from work warm food will be ready in the instant pot how cool is that Most instant pot models have yogurt setting, so this is yet another cool feature instant pot has. Uh, yes, we can make yogurt in the instant pot, so click on yogurt and then we can set the time and also we have to set the temperature less, normal, more. So when you click on adjust, you can change the temperature. Less, normal, more means high temperature. I usually use this setting for fermentation. So in Indian cooking, some of the dishes have to be fermented like dosa and appam batter. Here is the batter for appam or South Indian style rice crepes that's fermented in instant pot yogurt setting. So I kept it in yogurt setting for 10 hours overnight and here is the well fermented batter and I'm going to make appams. So the appams will turn beautiful soft appams with crispy edges and it will just melt in our mouth. We can also use yogurt setting for proofing pizza and bread dough. So I do have the videos for making yogurt in the instant pot and also for proofing pizza dough. So I'll post the link in the description below. Check that out. Even though Instant Pot has all these different settings, the setting that I use the most is pressure cook. So that's the fast cooking. Essentially, all the other settings like soup, meat, bean, rice porridge, multigrain, all these are doing pressure cooking. So if we know the pressure cooking time of the dishes, we can manually set the time in pressure cook setting. In instant pot cooking, we'll always come across these two terms, natural pressure release or NPR and quick pressure release or QPR. After pressure cooking has completed, we can either let the pressure release naturally. So it will take a few minutes, like, like three to four minutes, or we can do a quick pressure release. For doing quick pressure release, we have to click on the steam release button. This is Instant Pot Ultra model. It says press to vent and the steam will be completely released in a few minutes. 
What I always do is after pressure cooking, I let the pressure release naturally for five minutes and then I do a quick pressure release. In instant pot cooking, we need to know about the pressure cooking time for some of the dishes or some of the ingredients that we add while pressure cooking. So in this section, I'm going to share with you guys the cooking time for most of the things that we can cook in the instant pot. Uh, so the pressure cooking time for different kinds of rice, legumes, poultry, seafood, beef, uh, and a few things like that. So I'm going to share with you guys. White basmati rice pressure cooking time is 6 minutes, so it's at high pressure. Brown rice and brown basmati rice 25 minutes. Bone-in chicken pieces, drumsticks or bone-in thighs 10 minutes. Boneless chicken, chicken breasts or thighs only 5 minutes. Whole chicken 2 pounds or 1 kilo pressure cooking time is 12 minutes. If you pressure cook for a longer time, let's say 15 to 20 minutes, the meat will fall apart. B for lamb, bone-in or boneless, it's 25 minutes. Ground beef for ground chicken, 5 minutes pressure cooking. For cooking dried chickpeas, 25 minutes. Also dried red or white kidney beans, also 25 minutes. Red lentil, only 3 minutes of pressure cooking. Quinoa will be ready in just 2 minutes of pressure cooking. For making mashed potatoes, you have to cook whole potatoes for 12 minutes. If you are cooking mixed vegetables, everything is diced up, but you only have to pressure cook for 3 minutes. For cooking shrimp, 3 minutes of high pressure cooking in the instant pot. We also need to know the amount of liquid to be added while pressure cooking in the instant pot, so very less water is required. For cooking 1 cup rice, we only have to add 1 and quarter cups water. However, in the regular pressure cooker or rice cooker, we have to add 2 cups water for 1 cup rice. 1 is to 1 rice water ratio also works. However, the rice will be very crisp. So if you want soft rice, you have to add 1 and quarter cups water for 1 cup rice. For cooking curries with chicken, beef, lamb, ground chicken, ground beef, shrimp or even with mixed vegetables, we don't have to add any water. So if you are making the curries with onions, tomatoes and if you are adding the meat, liquid will ooze out of the meat and also the vegetables while pressure cooking. So we don't have to add any water, there will be enough liquid in the pot after pressure cooking. So let's say if we add half cup or one cup water, the curry will be really watery. Here is an example. So I'm cooking ground beef stew or curry. So I've added all the ingredients. I did not add any water or liquid. So next I'm going to pressure cook this. After 10 minutes of pressure cooking, I'm opening the lid and look at this. There is enough liquid in the pot. So I did not add any water while pressure cooking. So this liquid, it's oozed out of the ground beef, uh, onions and tomatoes. So there is uh, enough liquid, right? So if you had added half cup or one cup water, this would have been really watery. So don't have to add any water while cooking curries and uh, stews in the instant pot. For making soups, obviously we have to add liquid to get that soup consistency. So while pressure cooking, if you're adding legumes or veggies or meat, add less liquid like 1 to 2 cups uh, liquid, could be chicken stock, vegetable stock or water. And then after pressure cooking, you can adjust the consistency. If it's too thick, you can always thin it down with more liquid. Once you understand the pressure cooking time and the amount of liquid to be added, uh, you can literally cook anything in the instant pot. Uh, so that's all you have to know and cooking will be a breeze in the instant pot. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to cook something simple in the instant pot. So let's cook rice in the instant pot. I've taken white basmati rice. Uh, I have rinsed the rice in water. So this is one cup white basmati rice. I place the stainless steel pot into the main pot. So next, let's add the rice to the stainless steel pot. Instant pot pressure cooking and the pressure cooking in a regular pressure cooker, it's totally different. In the instant pot, it's much faster and the amount of liquid to be added is also lesser than in regular pressure cooker. 
So in this case, um, for cooking rice, usually in a regular pressure cooker or in a rice cooker, it's one is to two rice water ratio. That means for one cup rice, we have to add two cups water. However, in the instant pot, it's not one is to two rice water ratio. So for one cup rice, we only have to add one cup and additional quarter cup water so that will make the rice soft you can also add one is to one ratio if you add one cup water for one cup rice that will make the rice very crisp i love my rice soft that's why i'm also adding additional quarter cup water along with one cup water I like to season my rice with salt so adding a few pinches of salt so combine it well so next let's close the pot with the lid for pressure cooking we have to keep the sealing ring on the lid so I placed the sealing ring so now let's uh, close the pot with the lid I'm going to pressure cook the rice and I'm using instant pot duo model so while pressure cooking in this model we have to point the steam release valve knob towards sealing so that means the pressure is sealed so in this model we have to click on manual so next I'm going to set the time to six minutes so click on minus button and uh, set the time to six minutes so white basmati rice we only have to pressure cook for six minutes and the pressure should be at high pressure so that's it there is no start button on this model so after this um, it will show on mode on the display so that means cooking has started after the cooking starts it will take a few minutes for the pressure to build so once there is enough pressure inside the stainless steel pot the float valve will be pushed up by the pressure as you can see it's trying to come up and it has come up right now so that means there's enough pressure inside the stainless steel pot and the pressure cooking will start right now and then countdown will start so we are pressure cooking for six minutes so the countdown has started and after six minutes of pressure cooking instant pot will beep and that's when we know pressure cooking has completed one more minute of pressure cooking left and after that instant pot will beep and it will go into warm mode so after pressure cooking, instant pot has gone into warm mode and it will keep the food warm. I always uh, cancel this after pressure cooking and then I let the pressure release naturally for 5 minutes and after that uh, we can do a quick pressure release. In instant pot duo model for doing quick pressure release we need to first point the steam release valve knob towards venting so that means pressure is being vented and gently pull the knob up so that's when pressure will start to release so as you can see steam is starting to release and let the steam release completely let's open the lid so here is the perfectly cooked basmati rice it's soft and fluffy so if you get the water rice ratio and the pressure cooking time correct you'll be able to make perfectly cooked basmati rice in the instant pot every single time after pressure cooking i always take the stainless steel pot out of the main pot so it's super hot so wear a mitten and take it out so the main pot is still hot here is the hot surface uh, if we keep it in the main pot it will continue to cook so i always uh, take it out of the main pot and uh, we can enjoy the rice with uh, any kind of curries if you want to keep the rice covered for some time you can use the lid sometimes i also use a glass lid to keep this covered i always get this question if instant pot can be placed on a cooking range or over a glass cooktop if the glass cooktop is not hot you can definitely place the instant pot on it however if you have already cooked something on the cooktop and if it's hot do not place the instant pot on it the bottom of the instant pot uh, it has uh, some kind of plastic material and it will melt so do not place the instant pot over any hot surface and the reason why I keep the instant pot over my cooking range is that there is an exhaust over the cooking range so while doing quick pressure release I can turn on the exhaust. 
In this section, I'm gonna share with you guys how to clean the Instant Pot. So cleaning the Instant Pot is quite a breeze. So stainless steel pot is dishwasher friendly. I always wash this in the dishwasher on the lower rack. Even the lid is dishwasher friendly. However, I don't wash the lid in the dishwasher. So the lid has the steam release valve, float valves. So I always hand wash the lid uh, using a dish soap and a scrubber. So, you know, it's good not not to wash the lid in the dishwasher in the long run it can damage the lid here is the ceiling ring even the ceiling ring is dishwasher friendly i always throw this on the upper rack in the dishwasher and it comes out super clean from the dishwasher on the lid there's also float valve and anti-shield block if any food gets stuck to that we can also clean that so i have a detailed video i'll post the link in the description below check that out now here is the main pot so this is not dishwasher friendly so the main pot has all the sensors the control panel and the heating elements so do not immerse this in water that's a big no Here's what I do to clean the sides of the main pot. Use a Q-tip or a wet paper or a kitchen towel and wipe off the sides, the handles and also the stainless steel area. We can also combine water and vinegar and spray that on the stainless steel and it will make it really shine. Another kind of cooking we can do in the instant pot is pot in pot cooking. That means we can cook two or three dishes simultaneously in the instant pot. Only thing is that they have to have the same cooking time. For instance, we can cook white basmati rice and chicken curry simultaneously. They have the same cooking time around six minutes. And we can cook brown rice. It can be paired with beef or lamb curry. They have the same cooking time, uh, 25 to 30 minutes. So this is yet another effortless way of cooking uh, multiple dishes in the instant pot and I do have a couple of recipes. I'll post the link in the description below. Check that out. Dumb and go cooking is yet another effortless cooking method in the instant pot and my favorite. So all we have to do is dump all the ingredients into the stainless steel pot. So we'll be pressure cooking this. So select pressure cook, set the time and set the pressure. It's always set to high and click start and walk away. That's it. So after pressure cooking, here is the perfectly cooked uh, food. So this method is ideal for making soups, stews and curries and also one pot meals. So all we have to do is enjoy the food so this cooking method is perfect on a busy or lazy day One of the latest Instant Pot models is Instant Pot Duo Crisp and Air Fryer. So it has both pressure cooking and air fryer features. So if you'd like to know more about it, I do have a detailed video. I'll post the link in the description below. Check that out. So if you're looking to buy a new Instant Pot, I would highly recommend that. So you will have both pressure cooking and air fryer feature in just one single Instant Pot. How to buy Instant Pot? So you can buy it from the Instant Pot website. It's instanthome.com. Click on pressure cookers and you will find all the models on the website. So you can select whatever model you like, add it to cart and check out. Sometimes they have great deals, especially on major holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas. So Instant Pot is also available on Amazon, amazon.ca, amazon.com, amazon.in. It's Indian Amazon. So just so search instant pot and you will find all the different instant pot models and Amazon most of the time they got great deals on some of the models and also on Prime Day uh, Thanksgiving Boxing Day you will find great deals on Amazon instant pot is also available in most of the major retail stores so in Canada it's available in Canadian Tire Superstore and Walmart so here's what I find that sometimes in the stores they got great deals. So if you're planning to buy an instant pot, compare the prices in the store and also on Amazon. And it's always good to buy during Prime Day sale or Thanksgiving sale or Boxing Day sale. You will find unbeatable price. 
I can go on and on talking about the amazing things about Instant Pot. So I think I've covered pretty much everything you have to know about the Instant Pot. So after watching this video, go and take that Instant Pot out of the box and cook delicious dishes in it. It's effortless cooking and you're going to enjoy cooking in the Instant Pot. So once you get the hang of it, you will be seen cooking in the Instant Pot almost every day. I do have many Instant Pot recipes. I'll post all the links in the description below. So that's a wrap guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe. I'll be back with more easy breezy Instant Pot cooking videos. Until then, happy cooking, take care and bye.